Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking when a 0.75 kilogram mass oscillates on an ideal spring, the frequency of its frequency is 133 hertz. What will be the frequency B if 0.22 kilogram are added to the original mass and subtract from the original mass? Try to solve this problem without finding the force construct. So they are asking to find it without finding the first question. Let's see how we can do this. So first of all, we have the frequency equation that is f is equal to 1 over 2 phi square root of k over m. This is derived from omega is equal to square root of k over m. And from this one, we can find the frequency, but they are asking to find this one without finding the constants let's see how we can do this so our purpose is to find the mass let's bring the mass to the other side so frequency square frequency times square root of mass is going to be equal to square root of k over 2 phi and if you look at this for the frequency times the mass is going to be equal to square root of k over 2 phi this constant never changes for both if you add the weight of subtract whatever you do the constant remains the same and 2 phi remains the same so that means this multiplication is going to be always equal even the weight mass changes or whatever happens right so therefore we can say f1 times square root of m1 is going to be equal to f2 times square root of m2 because constant over 2 phi is going to be same for both of them so from this information we can find the we can find the this one right here a situation so a situation is saying add, added to the original mass 0 0.220 added to this mass right here so if we add them together uh, we get so m1 is going to be first of all m1 let's put m1 F1 and everything. M1 is 0 0.750 kilogram and F1 is 1.33 hertz. 33 hertz and M2. This is the situation we are adding these two mass together. 0 0.75 plus 0 0.22 and that gives us 0 0.97 kilogram. And now we have all the information. All we have to do is simply substitute in this equation. Our purpose is to find the M2. So let's bring the M2 to this side. Root of M2 is equal to F1 over. Oh no, no. we know the mass. We, we have to find the F2. F2. So F2 is going to be equal to F1 square root of M1 square root of m2 so that is going to be equal to 1.33 hertz multiplied by square root of m1 that is 0 0.750 kilogram divided by square root of 0 0.970 kilogram and that gives us 1.17 hertz and this is what happens this is the frequency we get when we add these mass together and the second situation is asking when we subtract the mass like if we subtract this mass from this one so we can we can use the same equation so this is for a part we are doing the b part right now let's use a different color okay so f1 let's put all the information first m1 is equal to 0 0.75 0 kilogram f1 is equal to 1.33 hertz and in this case m2 is going to be subtraction 0 0.750 minus 0 0.220 and that gives us 0 0.530 kilogram now we can use the same formula so from this one we have already derived the formula right here f2 is equal to f1 square root of m1 over m2 that is equal to 1.33 times 
times square root of 0 0.750 divided by square root of 0 0.530 and that's gonna give us 1.58 hertz and that is the final answer. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.